My name is Bill Fenton, and I was a lieutenant in the uh, Navy. When I was a kid, you know, in Norwich, Connecticut, I never thought I'd leave Norwich. I thought I'd stay there the rest of my life. And, you know, I've moved nine different times. I've lived all over the country and, uh, you know, go to Europe and all these kinds of things. I never would have dreamed of that until I got in the Navy. The Navy took me, first, first thing when I got out of sub school, I was to meet the Bang, and the Bang was in the Mediterranean. There were, uh, there, were, there were two enlisted guys and myself, and we were, both, we were all supposed to go to meet the Bang in Athens. They gave us tickets on TWA from New York City to Athens, direct flight. And we got there, and they told us, there'll be some ships in the harbor, just check in, they'll, you know, they'll give you a place to sleep, they'll give you food and all. And this one enlisted guy who was, uh, he'd been around, you know, he, he was at a radio in school at the time, so he, he says, no, 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 we're not going to do that. He says, you do that, they're going to put you on the watch list, they're going to, you know, you got to have duty and all this. So the three of us got a hotel room in Athens and, you know, enjoyed ourselves in Athens for a week. And then when the bang came, we just checked in. So, so anyway, you know, I grew up, I learned a lot. I lived in the six-man stateroom, okay? The six-man stateroom, the, the floor was about the size of that table. You know, it was probably, oh, six, seven feet long, and probably not as wide, probably about two feet wide. Uh, and there were three bunks stacked here and three bunks stacked here. Uh, we, uh, you, know, you go to the Mediterranean for three months, and each officer had two drawers to put their clothes in. That was it. Um, we didn't take showers uh, because you needed to conserve the battery. This is a diesel electric submarine, and you needed to uh, to make distilled water from seawater, it used a lot of battery juice, so you didn't want to do that. So nobody took showers when you were at sea. In fact, the showers were converted into closets. They put a bar up there and you'd hang the clothes in them. And the night before you came into port, you would uh, you'd take a shower. That was it. So uh, it was kind of cramped quarters. You, all six officers could not be in the stateroom at the same time unless they were all lying down. We had stewards. To, to serve the officers, but they basically take the same food, and bring it up to the wardroom, and serve it to us there. Uh, it was all cooked in the same place, and uh, the it was all cooked back in the uh, in the galley and in in the uh, crew's mess hall. I, I know some of the special things we had. We would get lobster, uh, which you didn't see on surface ships. Uh, and and when you got when you got your meat package, it would, you know you get a package and it had certain things in it. We had more steaks in our packages than than hamburgers, things like that. Uh, I remember uh, I had a captain once who wanted to impress the commodore, and so we had to serve uh, roast turkey. I mean a whole turkey carved, you know, for around Thanksgiving time. You don't see that too much on a submarine anyway, because it's a small group, tight knit group and everybody feels special because they have to qualify. It takes, basically, it takes almost a year to qualify. Uh, you, you have to, you know, learn the boat, every system on the boat. You have to uh, learn the, the watches that you have to stand and all. So people feel kind of special and tight-knit. Um, you, you know, you, you, you're supposed to call the enlisted guys by their last name, you know, and they call you Mr. So-and-so. But um, we were a little more f informal than that, um, and we were just you know, casual. We were down, one time we were doing, we were, for two weeks we were down, and we were, we were at test depth, which is as deep as you go. And um, throughout the boat, you, you, you have these uh, fuel oil tanks which surround the boat, and they're open to the sea uh, at the bottom. And so as the fuel oil is used, it's replaced with salt water. Uh, just to keep the trim correct, and um, the there are little petcocks. There are little little things that you can open to see how much, what the level of the fuel oil tank is, because they're they're sourced at different levels. Well, being down uh, test depth for two weeks, those things just bled into. You know, I mean, you'd have to empty these pans from of diesel oil every day because the pressure was just pushing it through the little petcocks. So, and everybody smelled like diesel oil. I mean, if we pulled into a port in the Mediterranean and the fleet was there, everybody knew you were on a submarine because your clothes smelled like diesel oil. Well, everybody smelled the same, so nobody noticed it. 
<laughs> I, I mean, 